What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm Chad with Charleston Car Video. Stay tuned over the next few minutes. We're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring for 2017. And then we also got the 2018, which is right there, Chevrolet Equinox LT. We're going to see some of the differences and take a look at both vehicles right now. And at the end of the video, go down in the comments section. Let me know which one you like best. Here we go. All right, everybody, so you know, both great cars, first off. We got American right over here, and we got Japanese right over there, right? The Mazda, the Chevy. Both are in the segment of the CUV, which is a crossover vehicle. And as some of y'all have told me, you believe that the crossovers are really taking over the automotive world in general, right? I mean, we're starting to see more and more and more crossovers on the road, and less and less and less sedans on the road. So anyways, with that being said, we gotta get into it and really check out the crossover vehicles because that's kind of what's out there right now. I mean, sedans are being still made, but when you head over to the Mazda store, it's really CX-5s and CX-9s and things like that and Mazda CX-3s. And then the Chevy store here, which this Chevy store has got mostly trucks, but again, a lot of Traverses and Equinoxes and Chevy Tracks and you know all kinds of little vehicles like that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the camera off of me, take a look at these two cars right now. So there's the Mazda CX-5 coming with the 2.5 liter engine, front wheel drive, also available in all wheel drive. This particular one is front wheel drive right here today. Then you have the 2018 Chevy Equinox 2.0 liter turbo, and I'm pretty sure I think you can get an Equinox with all wheel drive also. But this one here today is a front wheel drive vehicle. Now, in the United States, they do offer an Equinox with a diesel engine. The Mazda, you have to go overseas to Europe to be able to get one with a diesel engine. So Mazda right now, currently in the United States, does not have a diesel engine CX-5, or at least not to my knowledge. I've never test driven one, never even seen one at our Mazda store. And the same with the Equinox. I have not seen a diesel Equinox here at this particular store, but maybe there are a few in town you know, and we just don't have them at this particular dealership. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the front ends on these cars. First off, your Mazda has this really sporty front end. Headlights look very aggressive, like they want to eat a raccoon if it gets in your way. And that big deep grill and uh, that massive Mazda logo there. I mean, look at my hand compared to that logo. It's pretty big, isn't it? Wow. Also, you have all LED headlights on the CX-5 and LED fog lights down in the bumper. What a beautiful color too. That blue looks really nice. Now let's take a look at the Equinox front end. You also do have some LED lights going on up here, as you can see right there. Then you have your fogs down there, which are a lot bigger. Not just a small little bulb like on the Mazda. And a pretty nice looking front end, but definitely not as aggressive looking as the Mazda's front end, right? You know, there's always going to be a little difference going on between Japanese and American. Both cars are, though, for the most part, pretty similar in size. It really does look like the Equinox is a little bit longer than the CX-5, though, doesn't it? It almost does. So anyways, but I don't think a Traverse would be a good comparison between the CX-5. That'd probably be the CX-9. So this is kind of what we have here today. Let's take a look at the wheels real quickly here. We got Michelin tires on this particular LT package. Um, alloy wheels, they are 18 inch in size. We also have on our Mazda, we have 18 inch alloys over here as well. But you're getting Toyo tires with this particular car. I do kind of like the, uh, the gunmetal, the dark wheel look on the Mazda. Again, though, that wheel looks nice on this car, right? There you have it. Now, keep on moving around here while we're just over here checking out this car. There's your mirror. I will tell you the mirror on the CX-5 is a little bit bigger than the one on this car. And uh, let's take a look at fuel economy for a quick minute. 29 on the highway, 22 city, average combined of 25 mile per gallon on your Equinox, which could be a little bit better fuel economy because I do believe the CX-5 is probably gonna have more horsepower and it's a bigger liter engine than in this particular vehicle here but both turbos um, yeah 2.0 liter turbo this one's priced out at a uh, MSRP is 32 35 for a LT package front wheel drive. Then when we sell them $98 over invoice, it puts you at $31,278. But and ideally, this is the retail price, $32,35. Let's walk over real quick, take a look at the Mazda, see what we got going on. Now it's gonna be a little tough to see the window sticker on this particular car because we have uh, tinted windows. 
But as we can see here, actually fuel economy ratings are better on the Mazda. Holy mackerel, that's interesting. 31 highway, 24 city, average combined of 27. The other car had 29 on the highway. So 31, two points higher, that's pretty good. Good safety ratings, of course. And uh, let's see what else we can find out. The price, uh, retail price on this one is 30,335. 30,335. Now, if we had a 2018 CX-5 at our store right now, I would be using that one for the review against the 2018 Equinox. But since we don't, this is what I have. And there's not gonna be a whole lot of changes from 2018 to 2017 on the Mazda. But for 2018 with the Equinox, this is a all new body style for this year. If you're curious what the previous year model Equinox looked like, that is this right here. That is a 2017 with the blacked out wheels and all that. So definitely a lot of difference between 2017, 2018. Rear end looking pretty sweet on the Equinox, not too bad, dual exhaust in the back. Also backup sensors, backup camera, not too bad, looks pretty good, right? Again, this is all gonna come down to your judgment, folks, on which one you think looks better and which one would you rather be driving. Let's go take a look at our Mazda. The Mazda definitely has a sportier look about it. As you can see, the rear end, also dual exhaust, backup cameras, all that good stuff. You also have, you have, do have a power tailgate on our Mazda. Let's go see if we got a power tailgate on our Equinox. Both have smart keys. Let's go ahead and hit the button under there. There we go, power tailgate. Yes sir, Bob. Okay, so both cars have power tailgates. Pretty similar in cargo space, this versus the Mazda. We'll go look at the Mazda here in just a minute. Back seats fold down. There is no third row seat in this car. There is no third row in that car. And I don't think they need a third row in either one. More storage down there. And then I can only assume, and I don't, I don't like assuming because a lot of times y'all on YouTube will give me some hell for assuming that there's a spare under there. But let's just have a look. Yes, there is. How about it? Okay. So you got a little donut spare right down there. Just hit this button and that drops right on back down. Let's go take a look at the Mazda for a quick minute and see what we got going on in the trunk of this car. And also power tailgate, like I said a minute ago. Looks pretty similar in cargo space in the back, right? Not too much difference, really. I like this rubber mat, very nice. Do we have a spare? Of course we do. It's definitely a lot bigger spare and you got a subwoofer right there by Bose, okay? Let's take a look at the interiors. We'll go ahead and start out with the, uh, with the Equinox and see how that's going. And we'll definitely test out the rear leg room and everything like that. Um, on your door panel, all black, no different color combinations or anything like that. Um, you do get power windows, only auto up down on driver's side window, which is one click settings. And that's the same on the Mazda over there. Um, you do have this, this right here, which is kind of cool for the power tailgate where you can adjust the height on there. Um, you do have power seats. How many ways? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 way power seat. 10-way power seat over there. Um, this one has cloth interior. The Mazda has leather. You do have a leather wrapped steering wheel here. You got an LCD screen through the middle. Another LCD screen here. The Mazda, its screen is coming up out of the dash. This one's kind of built in. Not the biggest screen, and I know you can get an Equinox that has a little bit uh, nicer look on the inside with a little more shiny stuff and a little more aesthetics going on. It looked pretty. Um, you do got heated seats, start stop engine button. There's your shifter, there's your electronic park brake. You got one USB and auxiliary, a 12 volt. That's your armrest, pretty big, pretty deep. You got a light, okay. Not bad, headroom's good in here. Um, there's your sunglass holders. There's your interior lighting, which is LED. OnStar. LED lights are in there. Okay, you got oh crap handles above every window in the car. Let's go, um, let me make sure my seat's in position where I would want to drive. That's right there. Let's go ahead and hop in the back. 
take a look at the rear leg room. All right. Uh, one thing I do like, I like it has rear air vents, that's a plus. And we definitely have a lot of leg room in the back for you to be comfortable back here. Got plenty of headroom. I like how the lights are kind of right there. They're LED, there's a coat hanger. You got little microphones on every window or right up above so people can talk in the back. Uh, your armrest in the back. Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> there's your armrest. And of course, you can fold these seats down flat in the back if you need to store stuff. I don't know how flat they'll go, but they will lay down. There you go, not too bad, okay? Pretty solid seat. Let's go take a look at the Mazda interior and see what we got going on. I do see blind spot monitoring system right there, and I see some LED lights on the, wind, uh, the mirror. Our Mazda's got the same exact stuff, LED light on the mirror, and we got blind spot. Let's go ahead and open up. Door panel looks a, looks a lot nicer on the Mazda, right? Leather, it's got the stitching, the wood trim. I mean, this car is less money, okay, when it comes to the retail price. Better fuel economy. So there's several things on this car that, um, it's got a sunroof, the Equinox did not. You got leather interior. The Equinox is more money and has less features on it. I really, I think the Mazda definitely has a sporier feel to it on the inside, and the fit and finish looks just a little, looks a lot nicer on the Mazda, okay? Just giving you my honest opinion. I like the start-stop button with the silver going around and the buttons and dual climate control. You got heated seats. This will control the nav system right there. I mean, this has got the nav and the tech package, the GT. It's pretty loaded up. Again, you can get all that kind of stuff on your Equinox, but, you know, everything costs a lot more money home link sunglass holders I mean Equinox had you know LED lighting some things like that right but again I'm a little yeah I guess you got to go with a 2 LT package on your Equinox I will tell you, you got more leg room in the Equinox than you do in the Mazda I've, I mean if I sit in here right now I'm just gonna let you know my knee will be touching right there so you do have more leg room in the Equinox so a little more room in the back but, you know, it comes down to which one you like best, right? So let me know in the comments section, which one do you like best, the Equinox or the Mazda? Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Um, that can kind of concludes things for today. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if there's something you'd like to see on camera that has a review that I can do. Um, I have read some of y'all's requests already and uh, just kind of waiting for some of these vehicles to come out or come to the stores so I can get out there and do them. So again, thank you and have a great day. We'll see you soon from Marchant Chevrolet, Stokes Mazda, and Charleston Car Videos. We'll see you then. This video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.